All right, here we are at the beginning of the trail. Got the bike out. Now we just got loaded up. It's gonna be really heavy. All right, let's do a quick walk around of the bike. I'll explain some of the gear I have. So up here, I have batteries, battery backup. Right in there, so I have power for my devices. Um, down here, every important bear mace. Electronics in this pouch here. Air pump. Spare tire. And the main source of all the weight, right in here. It's my camping gear, hammock, rain fly. And I've got food on this side, clothes on that side. And attached to the back because I didn't have room. This here is my under quilt for my hammock. That'll help me to keep warm. Looking up at the cockpit. This little container here for snacks, mainly for my GoPro, and of course my phone. Bye, Tylee. I'm all loaded up and ready to go. I'm gonna say goodbye to Renee. I already said bye to Tylee. Give me a hug. Oh, uh, we're wasting daylight. Let's hit this trail. All right. Renee's heading off. I'm heading off. Let's tackle this trail. All right, we got about 22 to 24 miles ahead of us today. Stopping point is going to be Placid Lake. We're going to go up the Clearwater Lake Road, connect with the Morel Falls Road, and then head into the town of Seeley. That's about 22 miles from where I'm at. Then we have a little bit more to go to get to Placid. So the first part of this is all uphill. We've got a good steady incline for about 12 miles. And then we'll have a good steady decline as we make our way down into Seeley Lake. I couldn't ask for better weather. It's about 65 degrees, sunny and clear, and no rain anticipated the entire trip. I'm still prepared if it does though. Very steep. So far, this is a pretty rough challenge. But at least the scenery is beautiful. Oh yeah, downhill. And as I anticipated, right back uphill. So the bike is much heavier. I probably should have rode with weights in the pack to get used to it. Too late for that now. Don't really notice too much of a difference though, to be honest. But I am going a lot slower than usual. It is so quiet, peaceful and serene up here. Clearwater Lake is three miles to the left. If you're interested in that, check out my last video. As you can see, they warn you to be bear aware. This grizzly country here. We've definitely gained some elevation. And it's got quite a bit cooler up here. I tell you, it doesn't get any better than this. Also worth mentioning, this section of my ride is part of the Great Divide mountain bike route. What a privilege it is to be here. It is so beautiful. This section of the trail is really nice. We're still climbing, but at such a gradual pace, you don't really feel it. We're gonna stop here for a quick snack. We're moving pretty slow, about three and a half miles per hour, but we are steadily climbing. I just can't get over this weather. It is absolutely beautiful. Perfect temperature, little breeze, clear skies. The climb is taking forever, but I keep telling myself what goes up must come down. So I've been walking 
and riding this intermittently, the steady climb, I knew would be a challenge. So the other challenge I face is the air is much thinner up here. You can definitely tell. Either that or I'm out of shape, or both. I have gone almost seven miles. And it's the flattest it's been the whole ride. So if I remember correctly, it's about to get real steep. We're heading up to Rice Ridge, which will be our junction to get on Morrell Creek Road. Check out that view behind me. That is beautiful. Absolutely spectacular. Look at this. Wow. That's what we were climbing for. We earned our view. That was worth the climb. I believe that lake down there is Clearwater Lake. Absolutely beautiful. Looks like we're gonna ride some single track for a while. that view. It's so quiet up here. That's the road I came up on. Down there. It's a steep climb. Man, this has been a long time coming. Check out this glorious downhill. Man, it has gotten colder and I lost my son. But we are on a steady descent. I think I can say this is the hardest thing physically I've ever done. But I'm very close to the top. Oh, this is a glorious sight. Not just because of the view, but because there's my road heading downhill. As you can see on the map, it's gonna be a good easy ride until I get to Sealy. What a spectacular view. It's been a long, hard several hours of climbing up that road, but this has made it all worth it. All right, time to go. I love single track downhill, but with the weight of the bags, this is kind of sketchy. So sometimes you get adventures you don't want. I heard something fall off the bike as I was coming down this hill. And uh, it's my tripod, but then I looked and I also lost my underquilt, which I'm now going back to look for. Well, I didn't have to backtrack too far. There it is. I need to secure that better. Okay, so I had to stop here because it is so interesting to see one of my favorite hikes, Morel Falls from a totally different perspective. I can actually look down and see the waterfall from up here. Right down there. There are the two lakes right before you get to the falls. And I never thought I'd see the day that I'd be happy to be off of a single track. Gravel is just so much nicer with the bags on the back. This downhill is a blast. Got about six more miles to Sealy Lake. 
Hey, look at the trees and see that a burn came through here a few years ago. Burned up quite a bit of this forest. Still beautiful though. All right, home stretch coming into Sealy Lake. But I still have about five more miles to go after that. It's an interesting little town. Not quite sure what his relevance is. It's cool nonetheless. It's pretty cool. They have the chicken coop, restaurant and casino. All right. Leaving Sealy Lake and headed to Placid Lake Campground. It's a pretty cool bridge. Taking a quick break before I rush off to camp. I got about, I believe, five miles. I'm tired and I'm very hungry. Hey, nice plastic lake. Beautiful lake. What a beautiful sign. We have arrived. Well, almost. Here we are, home for the next night. All right, camp is set up. It's been a long day. What I thought was gonna be 22 miles ended up being 32 miles. And that elevation was rough. I am exhausted. I am starving. I'm gonna eat some pad thai. First, I'm gonna treat myself to a watermelon electrolyte tablet. Oh, and I need to go over some of the amenities you get for eight bucks for camping here in the bike area. You get your own outlet. There's a fire ring. Currently can't use it because of stage two fire restrictions. Your own campsite. And just on the other side of there, there's a bike repair rack. It's a pretty good deal for eight bucks. Stove, fuel. So the great thing about dehydrated meals is you just pour the water in the bag and you eat out of the bag. No dishes to have to worry about, no cleanup. Gourmet pad thai. Believe it or not, it got cold and windy. 64 degrees right now. This is a absolutely beautiful campsite. All right, well, sun's going down. I'm gonna go check out the lake before I call into the hammock and go to bed. Okay, so recapping today, I did way more miles than I thought I would. The elevation was pretty brutal. And I had an elevation gain of 3,034 feet. I did not train for that. Um, distance is one thing, but when you throw in a whole lot of elevation, climbing up those took a lot of effort, a lot of work. I did a lot of hiking and walking the bike up. Uh, I'm just not where I need to be riding the bike, and it's good to determine that now. Uh, the other side of that was once I hit the crest coming down, that was a lot of fun. The single track was a bit sketchy. Uh, clearly bikes do not go down that on a regular basis. Uh, there were a lot of areas where rocks got in the way and uh, of course the incident where I lost my uh, under quilt and had to go back for it. Uh, need to secure that better. But overall it was a great experience. It's just after 8.30 and I am exhausted. I'm going to go ahead and go to bed. Tomorrow morning I'm going to get up have breakfast and then we're going to climb up the uh, Blackfoot Clearwater Trail. Oh and the campground host did tell me that there has been black bears spotted here the last couple days. I got my mace with me. Hopefully, you don't think of me as a bear burrito. Anyway, good night, everybody. <laughs>